Okay, so if you have the problem of not having, for example, some sliders or some stuff like that, you can definitely emulate them on your PC. And I wanted to show in this video how you can make a virtual slider with Python so that you can move the slider in your computer and it sends the data to the Arduino and the Arduino changes the brightness of the LED so you don't need a physical slider. So you can use this like in many applications, but like this is a pretty easy demonstration on how this works. So yeah, let's get started. So now we have two ends that want to communicate with each other and we need a some kind of link between those and we need actually two programs to communicate with in the each ends. Okay, so here we have the Python 3 demo and basically all it consists of is say basically t TK in the demo and it has like the serial library. And I'll go really quickly over the code. I'll be, I'm not going to like explain in like this is not a Python tutorial, but I have some really weird features here because like I saw somebody do this and I like I was immediately like oh I need to test that because like there's a auto install and I found out that you can just import like people pictures the package manager for like Python and you can basically like install all of the libraries inside Python so yeah I thought that was pretty cool so I added it here but like just keep in mind that this will like install the commands as pip install so they are not in a virtual environment so if that's something that you would like to use this is probably not for you so don't put this to true and when we if you go here, uh, you can see like this part because like I have the import here because like uh, the installation is here. So yeah, usually people don't do this because like this pep8 and if you would actually format this, this will would jump into the like first lines and it'll stop there because it can't import those, so it'll never get to the installation part. So and here we have the com board and my board rate, which are basically an Arduino IDE. This is the com board. Oh, this is the wrong house. <laughs> okay, now we have the uh, right code open, open left here, so. <coughs> no. Yeah, so. Yeah, test the board rate. It's the exact same which we have here, and it needs to be the same, otherwise, like the board devices are trying to communicate, but like it's like in foreign language because both are coming at different speeds. So, so here we are opening the zero port and if it doesn't work, we'll go to here and it will exit with, with the code 69. So basically this is like here we send the new value because like with TK in there, it is a blocking. So when you run this code, it will like initiate everything and it it's basically stuck here but because we have like this is the slider it's called scale in tk inter and we have this command which is a function so it'll call this when the slider is moving even slightly so it'll basically run this function and like send the new value to it so and yeah it sends Sent it to the Arduino and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to be honest. So. And yeah, when it comes to the Arduino code, it's uh, really simple too, but like there's some key things that you need to know, which are basically you need to firstly, you need to open up the serial board with the board right that you want to open it. And we have we have the LED on pin 3. Um, here we check if there's like incoming messages from serial port and if there is, we will read the basically if there's a message, we'll look for semicolons and we just read, read, read until there's a semicolon and okay, we got the message and it throws out the semicolon and, and that is stored into the message, MSG and this is probably not needed but like I just always want to make sure that the buffer doesn't feel so we always get like zero latency uh, like at, at least the lowest latency possible and here we need to convert uh, uh, basically because it's a string 
that comes comes through the zero bolt. So we need to basically convert it to an integer. So and we do it by it. And here we just update the LED value. So <laughs> yeah, it's really simple. So yeah, you should definitely check this out and like TK in there. It's a bit pretty old library, but like and it looks kind of outdated. But it's really easy to use. You can find a lot of tutorials for it. So. <laughs> It's really simple to use, at least for beginners, so I would recommend to check it out. As always, the code can be found from my GitHub in the links below, and see you in the next video. Bye.